Hey guys, as you know, yesterday was August 1st and, well, two days ago. I'm filming this video today, which is the second. You'll see this on the third. Anyway, August 1st was the release date for over, I believe, 70 new sets, which is crazy. That's a ton of new sets. As I was ordering, I realized I made a lot of mistakes because I never ordered on release day online before. I'm usually close enough to a LEGO store to go there myself. So I thought I'd make a little video with my top seven? Yeah, seven tips for how to order successfully. Now the first thing you'll notice about ordering online is there are lots of delays, which doesn't really happen when you're in person because you can't freeze while you're walking to the Lego store, but the website can freeze as you're trying to order. So my first tip is to know what you're gonna order. And that is really important because if you don't know what you want, the Lego website I think is kind of hard to find just a whole theme because for Star Wars you have to scroll through like eight pages and it might not come up with the newest stuff first. So it's nice to know exactly what you want to order so you can just search for your specific item when you're ready to order it. Second is stay connected. And this is the most embarrassing part about my ordering yesterday. Um, I thought that the time for release was 12 o'clock my time, but it was 12 o'clock Eastern time, which meant at 9.30 the sets were available to me. Bruh. And I was not aware of that. And why I'm saying to stay connected is the only reason I got there in time was I was looking at my YouTube feed and a bunch of people I follow were live streaming themselves on release day online, finding all the sets they were going to buy. And I'm really glad I saw that or else I wouldn't have been on the website until midnight and I probably would have missed out on ordering some really cool sets. Next is patience, which is something I was not doing well yesterday because I kind of freaked out because I was already like five minutes late and I got put in the queue, which you have a place number and then you just have to wait to get in. So five minutes after um, the website opened up for all the new stuff, I was in 2000 waiting. And that kind of freaked me out because I just assumed, oh, everything will be sold out. So once I got in, I was so excited and I clicked on the stuff I wanted and it said an error has occurred and I was like, shoot. So then I clicked it again and again and a few more times. And it just kept saying an error has occurred. So I made the mistake of reloading my page. Do not reload your page. No. It sent me back to the queue. So I had to wait for another few minutes. Then I got let back in. And when I got back in, every time I'd clicked on the add to bag button and it didn't work, it did add to my bag. It just took a while to load. So there was like eight items in my bag that I didn't want multiple of. So I had to go back and change the number from like three, which is the limit of most things you could buy back to one. And it took a while because the site was so laggy, it took like five minutes just to fix the numbers. And that, that's just not very time sensitive, especially when you're trying to hurry and check out. Now the next thing is another mistake I made. Most of these are mistakes I made, so feel free to make fun of me because almost every little mini story here is something I did wrong. So yeah, um, and it's know your VIP. Now, I had planned on ordering at midnight, not 9.30, so I was planning on getting everything I needed figured out before midnight, but we already talked about that. Now, VIP is strangely anti-consumer and just hard to use, because the only way to use it is you have to check out a ticket, and they're like $5, $20, and $50, and I think there's even $100, I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but there's a certain way you have to do it. Now, you have to get a ticket, either for in the store or on the phone or for ordering online and you have to go onto the site you have to choose the amount you want you have to click on the ticket then you get a code then when you go to check out it's not the coupon code that's for other things coupon codes you have to actually press pay and pay and proceed whatever it is and then in there that's where you type in your vip code now when I was ordering I didn't know this and I was worried about not checking out before the item sold out so I just went ahead and checked out without using my VIP points. And I could have saved, to be honest, a lot of money on my order if I had done that or <laughs> known that. So that's a thing to know because it saves you money and it just makes ordering a lot easier if you know how to do it. Next we have have a backup plan and this one is kind of really specific. And it's because some people were saying, and I don't know how widespread this issue was, but you could not pay with PayPal. A lot of people had this issue. I did not pay with PayPal, so I can't say if it was a problem for me or not. But when I say have a backup plan, I mean have another way to pay. And also, um, have backup sets in mind that you might want to buy because stuff sells out really fast and you might miss out on it. My next tip is know the promos, because there was a lot of cool promos yesterday. One of them was a sailboat with purchases over $200, which is 
a really nice promo. I am looking forward to owning that. Not only for the pieces, the minifigures, and the really cool dolphins, but for the set itself, just because it looks really nice, and it's a really, well, I've already said, it's a really nice promo. Another reason this is so important is I was just a few dollars away from getting another promo on Marvel, but I didn't know that promo was going on, so I just blanked on it and I didn't get the promo. Lastly, we have Order Smart which is basically um, know the demand, know what people want the most, and order it first. If you're buying sets that have already been out, get those last because it's doubtful they're gonna sell out on release day. And another thing I was thinking, if you have a lot of sets you're planning on buying that aren't new, why not wait and then do another order once there's double VIP points? I think that's ordering smart. And also you could do separate orders. Um, the promo, the sailboat promo, there was no cap to how much, how many times you use it. So in theory, you could go order $200 worth of sets, then create a new order, order another $200 worth of sets and get two promos instead of spending $400 and getting one promo. Anyway, that's just a few tips and ideas I had for ordering on release day online. It get, it's, it's pretty stressful, let's be honest, and knowing these tips will make things a lot easier. So hopefully that helped you out. And yes, I'm not in my room. This is not a green screen. But I will be back soon for a haul video of all the new release sets. If they ever ship. I don't know. I've had trouble in the past. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So in California, I'm probably going to go drink some iced tea. No limit to iced tea here. I mean, my goodness. So much.